Okay, let's make sure we are live. Okay. I got a quick one here about amends, making amends. What should I do if someone owes me an amends? So this is actually a good question. And and I I can remember, I mean, there <laughs> this is a this is something that I I don't know if I want to say struggled with, but mo I had a challenge with more so early on in my sobriety. And, you know, when you're, when you're new to the 12 step program, when I was new to the 12 step program, I learn about making amends. I learn about doing the next right thing. I learn about uh, cleaning up my wreckage. And, you know, when you do your 10th step, it's like, Hey, where's there, is there fear, resentment, um, guilt, shame, uh, self-pity. And, if, if there are any of those things, any dishonesty, self-seeking behavior, if there's any of that behavior and I owe an amends, I need to make an amends immediately. But what it also did was it made me, um, I don't know if I want to say more aware, but I started thinking about the fact that people might owe me an amends. It's like, oh, that person owes me an amends. And I, I can't even think of anything specific right now. So, I mean, I guess... <laughs> Yeah, it's um, making an amends is for you. The reason why you make an amends is for you. It's to heal your heart, mind, and soul. And I think many times people that are early on in their program, early on in sobriety, they're working the steps for the first time or even the second time or the third time for that matter. They think that other people owe them an amends. And I, I used to think that. And I can remember that thinking someone owe me, owed me an amends, even if they did make the amends, it provided zero relief. So the purpose of making an amends is to heal your heart, mind, and soul. And actually, you know what? I can remember a guy that I, I, I made an apology to. It wasn't even an amends. I didn't even owe him an amends. And I made an apology to him. I said, hey, is there, um, if there's anything that I, that I did to you, I apologize. And, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do to make it right. And he responded with an email and he said, you know, um, if you're trying to check a box for your for your 12 step program or something, you can save it. And and I remember just scratching my head going, OK, well, whatever. Um, I don't even know why I brought up that story, but it, it just kind of made me think of that. I guess it's it's what I'm speaking to is the amends and making the amends is for you to heal your heart, mind, and soul. And there is an amends process, which the amends process is really identify who it is that you need to make an amends to, clarify specifically what the amends is for, set up a meeting in person, if at all possible, make the amends, and then maintain high intention, low attachment. And of course, live according to your values moving forward and never ever revert back to the alcoholic behavior of course you're going to you're going to be guided by your sponsor so of course if you're in a, if you're not in a 12 step program then making an amends is one of the best things that i learned how to do um, for for a few reasons which one is that i've learned to i've, I've figured out what my values are and I live according to my values. And anytime I go outside of my values, anytime I lie, cheat, steal, anytime I am selfish, self-seeking, anytime I hurt somebody else, in order for me to avoid the guilt and the shame associated with my behavior, or I might feel the guilt and the shame, it the only way for me to keep my side of the street clean is to go back and make a, make an amends, which means, Hey, I was wrong for doing what I did and what can I do to make it right? And then whatever it is, the other person asks me to do, I'm going to follow through as long as it's reasonable. So the amends is for you. The amends is not for them. So if you think that they owe you an amends, many times it's like, okay, I owe someone an amends, but um, they also owe me an amends, so I really want, I need them to make it and make the amends back to me. Or we think they owe us an amends. And I can say that's more often than not thinking they owe me an amends. And I've had lots of sponsees that I've worked with in the past. It's like, yeah, I owe this person an amends, but 
they really, I, I need them to make an amends. But that doesn't do anything. It does nothing in the way of healing your heart, mind, and soul. The 12-step program is for you. The 12-step program is for me. The 12-step program is for the person that's working the 12 steps. And the other person, it, you know, it's it's um, as speaking to the four agreements, one of the four agreements, not taking anything personally. Other people are going to do what they do, has nothing to do with me. It doesn't impact me. It doesn't affect me. If a person makes an amends to me, that's awesome. I'm happy for them because they got to take a step in the right direction of cleaning up their side of the street. That would be the only reason why I would want somebody to make an amends to me, but it does nothing in the way of my happiness and my joy and my freedom. And what it could do, if you think somebody owes you an amends and they don't make the amends, then that could lead to a resentment, which resentment, expectations are resentments waiting to happen. So this was a, a quick video about amends. If you have a comment about making an amends or you have an opinion on whether or not you should think someone owes you an amends, whether or not you think they should make an amends or not make the amends, feel free to share in the comments below.